God's word was in the beginning and it will be at the end. And we will be here to preach and teach God's word. When we started this school, I was concerned about my own children and I wanted to be able to speak into the lives of the people that I pastored. I was concerned about the way things were going in the world. And so I felt like a school was an opportunity to have more time to try to have an influence in somebody's life rather than just you know half an hour on Sunday morning. My lifetime of ministry goes back into 1971. And in that 50 year period, things have gotten increasingly hostile to Christianity. We're in a period of decline in America and very much so in the Seattle region. And so the only way to lift that is to lift that in the lives of people, is to create institutions that build the community, that build families, that build students. And so you fight the culture by doing a great job with the people that you have access to. I mean, that's the goal. That's what you're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do at Cedar Park Christian Schools. Cedar Park has had a huge impact on our family. My dad was became the senior pastor at Cedar Park Church in 1981, mm -hmm. and that was when I met Jay. We actually were in the first preschool class together. Since then, we have gotten married <laughs> and had our own family, and we now have four daughters. Mm -hmm. All of them have gone through Cedar Park Christian School. So Cedar Park, through its long history and tradition, has always said, we're going to stand on the Word of God as the truth and then teach from that. It causes us not to just be named or called a Christian school, but a school that truly teaches Jesus Christ in every subject, all day long, every day, in every classroom. You know, from the very beginning, day one, uh, the school is a ministry of the church. You know, the heartbeat of the church is to equip people to love God. You know, Cedar Park, we're here looking for those opportunities for people to be changed by the good news of Jesus. You know, whether it's from the pulpit, whether it's in a small group, or whether it's in a classroom. Cedar Park has a great family, a great community that works together. And so it gives us an opportunity to bring people in in every area of ministry here. We look at every person that comes here. If you work in an office, if you are a classroom teacher, maybe you're a pastor, or maybe you get to be superintendent. We're all ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe that when people encounter Christ, their lives are changed. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome to be able to do that in a math class, in a science class, you yeah. know, at NPE, have chapels. Yeah, we're about our ABCs and our one, two, threes, but to be able to do that with a biblical worldview, yeah. I mean, that is what we do here at mm -hmm. Cedar Park Church and school. And we're just so blessed to have that opportunity. In speaking with the leadership of the church, we're looking at how do we start more and more satellite churches outside of Cedar Park Church Bothell? How do we start more Christian schools outside of the four campuses that we have now? My vision and dream is that we would have neighborhood Christian schools that would be close enough for every single family. You know, Christian education should be on the forefront of every parent's mind for their child because it addresses the whole child. The Bible tells us to train up a child in the way that they should go yeah. so that when they're old they won't depart from it. So I believe it's actually fulfilling what God has called us to do as parents. And this is what parents uh, in days like this need someone to come alongside them. Not someone to work against them but somebody to be a partner and an ally. The exciting part about being at Cedar Park is developing the relationships with these young people as they go through the school. They come to us as almost toddlers, three years old maybe five years old. But at the end, we're really watching these amazing young people walk across a stage, pick up a diploma, shake a hand, and they're ready to go out into this challenging world. Now, the exciting thing, many of them come back. They tell us their stories and their achievements. Or maybe they tell us the challenges they went through and how God preserved them through those things. But in each one, there's a story of their faith 
and of God's rescue and his purpose in their life. When they come back and they tell us, I didn't understand when I was in Bible class, but I understand now, we know we hit the mark. As pressures in the world come for the church and the school to kind of maybe cut corners or change definitions or accept things that we know God's word tells us to run from, we want to stand firm believing that God's word is true, believing that it, it literally is God's word, and we want to be faithful to that. We don't want to step outside that promise. We want to live inside that promise. Cedar Park has been here. We are here, and we will be here.